How's it going, Ukyo? Hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, Ghost Deer, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. All right, one more, and then I'll go over footage. I'm actually, look at one of uh, one of NA's best uh, Kai players. I'll probably be going over his footage in a second. Not probably. I am going over his footage in a second from the Midwest tournament. Oh, that's loud. Sorry. Because he's one of NA's best Kai players, and I would like to learn from him. And also, I didn't get to watch the Midwest uh, Magnum Opera tournament. Opera. Fuck! Hey, hey, hey. hey Wukash, how's it going, man? Speaking of the Midwest uh, Magnum Opera, Wukash, who was our champion for Midwest, is gonna host. It's gonna be a part of one of the better teams, so I'm pretty excited for that. Thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. All your matches were. So I watched. Uh, I sat down last night and I watched um, all of the matches with uh, I watched all of Clage's matches with him and he sort of helped me out and like explained to me uh, his thought process and certain parts of the game and like and uh, basically like constantly asking him like hey what would you do in this game state sort of thing uh, like just adjust adjusting for like health and meter and stuff like that. So that really helped a lot. Uh, so I've only watched those so far. And your match with him was pretty good. Your biking is incredible, man. I can't believe you learned bike in second. Your biking is amazing. How are you doing? Uh, fucking one hit pinwheel cancels. You're insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. No, I just uh, sorry. I I know the input, the scissoron into uh, what's that called, punch pit wheel. It was more that I was impressed at how fastly you 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 did it so incredibly fast. It was really impressive. If if I saw every bike and player do that, I would be much more frightened of bike and players online. But you're you're one of the few. If I don't remember any, honestly, maybe like like early parts of watching K play where I was like, holy shit, this dude fucking instantly gets out these counters. You were, that was, uh, I was like, this changes how you play against this person specifically. If I look at another Biken player and I go, oh, he can't do this. I am way happier. It's like, oh, this guy doesn't do it as well as Wukash. Absolutely. Zakuro, that's what it's called. Gotcha. Thank you. I know all the other ones. Sakura, Abaku, Oren. Remains on the ground after it's fired. Yeah, I think it puts you like honestly in terms of or approach it in terms of biking players, I think it separates you. The slash and heavy slash versions are at different heights. Daro. Ram lethal moves rapidly, performing a lunging attack. It has fast startup. Kept Daro. Daro was the Daro was the electric input, right? It she had to go into neutral first, or was it always a DP? But it had the just frame timing. It can be canceled into from normal moves, making for a string. It launches the opponent farther up, but it hits him while they're moving. Okay. So you can gotcha. It has fast startup and can be canceled into from normal moves. Making for string. That was pretty interesting, being able to do 2K Daro after Daro. Ram looks very, very cool. Ram looks very, very, very cool. So you can follow up with a combo. Sildo Detro. Ram Lethal leaps forward, performing an overhead attack. I would complain about, like, pronouncing Esperanto, but I don't imagine that it's very easy to either. This move can't be blocked while crouching. The mid-air version changes your jump trajectory, so aim for it. Her air dash looks slightly slower than other characters. Um, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who's who's air dash it up? Milia's looks faster. It it I I'm I'm honestly going off pure eyesight. I'm not thinking I'm not thinking about it like. An extreme. I I could be entirely wrong. It also has a quite long. But. Auto. 
it looks like it's faster. It looks like it's slower than Milius. The mid-air version changes your jump trajectory. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. Hold up. Whoops. Your opponent with her wide offensive arc is incredible. There you go. Movement. Okay, I'm not crazy. It is it is certainly faster. It is certainly faster. But it just means that they do have an idea for changing people's air dash timings. Like air dash startup is going to be a thing now, rather than air dash distance. Well, air dash distance will also be a thing, obviously. It's more uh, but air dash startup is now a thing. I don't hate that entirely, honestly. I think it's maybe annoying sometimes. It'll be annoying for Guilty Gear players who can who's, who've played previous games, I think. But I don't think it's a crazy thing to balance, honestly. So aim for a surprise attack with it. Suburbrado. An extremely damaging attack. This is a pretty interesting move. I think the mechanic of damage by how many swords you have is pretty interesting. And I wonder if anybody will come up with some optimal stuff where it's like you have the ability to do like spend meter in order to RC pick up sword, like do more damage sort of thing. It has a quite long range. So you can deal big damage with a single hit from a fair distance. It's far more likely that people will just do combos that are and the range and damage becomes like in as long as you have like some swords or no swords will basically just be the only changes. But I'm interested to see if there's anybody who comes up with stuff that's optimized with, like, double swords. I'm actually so excited for this. I love Rekka's. I think Re I think Rekka pressure is super neat. And if, like, the second hit isn't too negative, and you have the ability to, like, maybe not get stomped while you're, while you're doing them, I think it, you have... This will be a pretty fun thing to play with. Up to two follow up moves by inputting quarter circle back punch. The third move knocks the opponent down on hit. The first move can be dash canceled. Still predicting that uh, Baikon will have Baku. Or That'd be sick. I think Baku would be like, if she, I think probably that Baikon could go closer to ACACR than Exerd. With long range. In, in Strive, as it stands. As it stands. Obviously, things can change. Its properties change depending on the number of swords you have equipped. And its range and damage become quite poor when you have none left. Calvados. Oh, Calvados looks so good. Multi-hit projectile that reaches the other side of the screen. This move can cancel out almost any hit. You can see she also does, like, a little... She does an X pose with it, too. In real life, she had four different curses, and one of them would stop you from doing any special moves. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They move. They removed a lot of like those little little things about characters, right? And other characters who have that sort of thing never got it back, or were never in the game. This move can cancel out almost any of the opponent's projectiles. Like, the closest we got to that is maybe, like, jam cards. If there are any unequipped swords, they will be retrieved automatically. This attack works Being able to retrieve swords using the super is a pretty is a pretty important thing, I think. And there will be situations where you'll want to end with super in order to retrieve both swords and then, and then have the ability to keep your range and, and your pressure that way. Glam or jam, I'm glad she's dead. I was talking about this last night with with Clage, where I was like, "Man, yeah, Jam isn't as good as she is. A jam and Exert isn't as good as she is in Plus R or AC, but like they made her far more interesting in that game. She's not just like extremely damaging attack that's invincible on startup. Force break cards and then like throw out Ryujin whenever you see somebody breathe on accident." It has fast startup, so you can use it in combos to deal big. Oh, damage. sorry. You can you can do force break puffball you if you don't if you if you don't feel like putting that much risk into it. Hitting the opponent with the edge of her attacks at mid range, her standing far slash and standing heavy slash attacks make good grounded pokes. 
When the opponent tries to avoid the grounded neutral game by jumping in. What happens to the down swords if you break the wall? Do you stay off the screen? <laughs> you just leave them. You leave them like way up there. <laughs> uh, they did not explain that. Here then with forward punch. You can even follow up with her aerial slash attack. When you've got the opponent in the corner, her combos look really cool. With the heavy slash version of Bayonetto, you can continue attacking if the opponent blocks and land a combo. If it... What if they actually? Yeah. What if they have travel time? They have to like actually fly all the way over. Version of Bayonetto. You can even follow up with her aerial slash attack. I love this animation here, which looks like close S far S or far S five H. Opponent in the corner. Get your defense I love that. I think it looks so good. You can continue attacking if the opponent blocks and land a combo if it hits them. Thank you for watching. <sighs> Ramlethal looks so good. She looks so so good. She looks so good. I think I I am very very excited for uh, watching her. In in Exert even or in in Strive even if I don't end up playing her.